Hi there. Um, I wanted to make a video today about turmeric and making yourself a, a lovely turmeric food, a uh, little snack that you can have um, on a daily basis. So I talk about turmeric with quite a few of my clients um, because it's a really strong anti-inflammatory. So if you're a person who's suffering from um, any sort of pain really or inflammation, um, be that a joint pain, muscle pain, uh, because of maybe are doing too much or, or working out um, or you have other sort of inflammation conditions so like rheumatic arthritis um, or arthritis in general even osteoarthritis or or inflammation because of other um, reasons then turmeric may be something um, that you want to consider and um, at least trying it's not something that works overnight um, obviously, because it's a natural um, uh, compound, spice, food. Um, but it's certainly um, very useful, especially if, you know, we know the paracetamols and ibuprofens, they're really not good for our gut microbiome over a long time. So people can get gut distress from having those medications for a long time. Um, so it's really nice to um, incorporate something like a turmeric into our daily regime so you can obviously use it in cooking you may be using it already in curries and you know making food um but to get the therapeutic dose <laughs> it's um i may be requiring a little bit more thought so the the one kind of recipe that i tend to often recommend is doing it with yogurt so yogurt kind of um pacifies the fairly strong um taste of turmeric um, and it's really nice to actually eat, um, especially if you've got a sweet tooth, but if you don't have a sweet tooth, you just don't add uh, one of the ingredients, which is honey. Um, so as always, things are really super simple with me. Um, so I have yogurt, um, so live yogurt. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, whether it's um, cow's yogurt, if you're okay with dairy, or whether it's uh, plant yogurt. Um, so I've just put maybe a couple of tablespoons, this is my little turmeric pot. And then I'm just going to take turmeric. So I try and buy my spices um, organic, always. Um, because, yeah, it's, you're not going to be using so much that, you know, the, the difference in price is... is um, considerable. I source my um, spices from, pardon me, a place called Tree Harvest. Um, you can get their catalogue and you just give them a call, ring them up and they're brilliant. Um, and the quality of their foods and spices is brilliant as well. I don't know whether this is, you can sh see this, but I'm putting, a, you know, a fair amount, that's a teaspoon and a half maybe, um, into the mix. And then you just mix it up. Um, I mean, I could eat this already as it is. I would do it if I had like muscle pain, joint pain, any other pain. I would maybe do it twice a day. Maybe as a dessert after eating anyway. Um, It's really incredible how much the, the tartness of turmeric is dissipated by the yogurt. Mm. And I quite like that sort of tart taste, but not everyone does. Fair enough. So I'm going to put in some raw honey. And this honey, actually, I've made it into a special honey. And I, you can see it's a, a bit of a, has a weird color, perhaps. In this honey, I've mixed turmeric, black pepper, ginger, and um, acerola extract uh, from acerola cherries. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, so apologies. Mm, it's a little bit difficult to mix up, so bear with me. So if you use honey, if at all possible, buy your honey from your local honey producer and um, so that way you are supporting not only local people around you but 
local bee populations as well. Um, and that, that's incredibly important to us. So also there there is this thing called food forgery. So some of the honeys that are out there in the shops are not actually honey at all, or they're only partly honey and partly um, melted sugar. Um, this happens often with um, food ingredients that, that really, they're, they're limited, the supply is limited, um, and there will always be people who want to cut the corners. So some of your olive oils might not, might not be fully olive oil, they might be cut with a cheaper oil. Unfortunately, that's the case with the kind of um, more industrial honeys as well, that they, how much the, of them is actual honey is, um, yeah, sometimes debatable. So, you know, get to know your own beekeepers in the local area, um, talk to them, make friends, support their business. Um, it's sustainable in so many different ways. And also, you have a better chances of having the real, real deal. Um, and honey in itself, obviously, as you know, has immune supporting properties. So bearing in mind that we are um, trying to um, here kind of control or manage our um, immune system by reducing inflammation, then not a bad idea as an ingredient in this. So I don't know whether you see this, it's like a really happy yellow colored mix. And I've managed to mix the, the honey in there as well. And it's delicious. I find it delicious. If you don't find it delicious, that's okay. Consider then, then this is your medicine. So if you are suffering from pain, turmeric may, may be potentially good for pain as well. The studies suggest, not just me. Um, but especially for inflammation. I mean, you don't suck an ibuprofen pill and think, oh, is this good tasting or not good tasting? This is medicine. So if you don't like the taste, maybe put a little bit less turmeric, maybe put a little bit more honey. Um, but also consider this is medicine. This is not just the kind of... A fanciful food just to kind of titillate, uh, titillate our taste buds but it's actually um, therapeutic in its action so I hope you enjoy it um, do have a play around do let me know how you got on and um, yeah enjoy reducing your inflammation with turmeric thank you